Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for the first half of January. This is your financial reading for the first half of the month. Uh, this month I go live every single day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you want to catch me live, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you can catch me live. But let's see what we have. I will also, by the way, have love readings coming out um, in just a couple of days. So keep an eye out for those as well. But uh, let's see, it looks really good. <laughs> Actually, this is probably, I, I just said to somebody else that theirs was the best, yours is definitely the best so far, and it, get, it only gets better as I'm clarifying here. So this is you, the Jack of Hearts, uh, so you being a water sign, Scorpio, and uh, Ace of Diamonds, new path. I think um, Pisces also had the Ace of Diamonds as well, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, definitely a lot of new paths opening up for water signs, I would say. Ace of Diamonds is a card of needing to take a risk, to be more successful, needing to do something that makes you more successful as well. I do feel like um, pretty much water signs, we have to like change the way that we see things and we have to also, you know, we have to become something more, if that makes sense, and we, than we ever thought was possible. I feel like the uh, universe is trying to get us to like push our limitations push our boundaries and break out of like old beliefs and limiting beliefs and all that other stuff. The universe is trying to make water stronger in a lot of ways. So we have to take those risks as far as finances are concerned, whether it's like starting a new business, getting a job you don't think you're qualified for, whatever. That's pretty much come up for every single sign, by the way, this month, is that um, we really need to push ourselves. I, I, part of me feels like that Saturn and Capricorn, you know, pretty much wanting everybody to push themselves in some way. So I would say push yourself this month and don't be afraid of any new paths. I would say this looks amazing. Uh, this just looks amazing but it looks really good for any of you who are starting a new business or who are starting to think about possibly doing your own thing I don't care if it's maybe you want to write a book or maybe you want to just do something else maybe it's not like a business business maybe it's you know something like you turning a hobby into something that makes you extra money on the side you know I feel like if you're thinking about those things it's gonna be really good for you next you have the nine of diamonds and the Joker so um, yeah, thinking about doing something on the side, Joker. Joker is a card of like having two jobs or having a job and a business or having a job and a side business. And, you know, again, I feel like a lot of people will be doing that anyway, but this is new opportunity, new opportunity. This is a card like the Fool. It says, take the leap of faith. Nine of Diamonds is called the Coffin. It says, there is a new life waiting for you. And, you know, you just have to open the coffin door. Basically, you are inside that coffin and you just need to open the door to experience that new life. It's an amazing card for new money amazing card for investing it's an amazing card for you know putting your money into something as well so like investing or um you know starting paying for a business whatever the case may be it's also a great card for just newness in general so any of you who are hoping to get a new job or start something new it looks uh, looks really good it's also a great card for travel so if any of you are thinking about traveling or moving i think cancer had the same message as well that moving you know could lead to a job or it could lead to a career that makes you very successful so i feel like movement or moving would probably be a really good idea for you as well. Uh, next you have the five of hearts. Some of you could be experiencing jealousy in the workplace and you know five of hearts is a card of just ignoring jealousy. I also feel like some of you could be going back to an old idea with this king of hearts. It's like maybe you've thought about starting a business you never did it and or maybe you thought about get, trying to get a certain type of job and you just never did it. So I feel like the king of hearts is kind of like a card of returns. It's a card of returning to something from the past. What I would say with this five of hearts is I don't think you're just going to return to it. I think you would return to it and update it, return to it and turn it into something else. So it's like if it's a business to do something, it's like you're taking that same idea but you're updating it to something new. Uh, same thing with work as well. Maybe it's like maybe you thought about getting a job somewhere but you just always thought about just getting a job there. But now instead of just, just getting the job, it's like you're thinking about becoming like a manager there or getting a management position. It's it's not just the original thing. It's kind of been updated is what I would say here. I do feel like love, uh, this has come up for all three water signs that love could also be increasing your financial situation. So again, we're going to see what happens in the love readings. Those will be out in just a few days, but uh, it definitely looks like love could be playing a role. Uh, next, you have the four diamonds and the three hearts. Love that. So you know, the four diamonds and the nine, nine of diamonds are cards of newness. They're cards of trying new things, doing new things, exploring different ways of making money, exploring different ways of becoming more successful. Three of hearts is just my yes card, by the way. It just says, like, take the risk. It says, you know, it's it doesn't really have a meaning. I don't attach a meaning to it. To me, it's just an indicator card. It just indicates that you are moving forward in the right direction. So I'd say keep going doing whatever it is that you're doing. Four of Diamonds is a card of building something stable. I do feel like you are taking the time now to build, like go step by step, whether it's a business or a job. It's like, I feel like you're really actually focusing on taking the time to make it something secure. And uh, in, even if you're not, I, I would say that I feel like in this month, January,
January, you will be changing your mindset to do that. So it's, I think that's a really good thing. I think it will lead to a lot more success in the future for you and just a lot more opportunities as well. I am getting the word opportunities on this four of diamonds, which is kind of weird because it, it's not a card of opportunity necessarily. It is a card of new opportunity, but just like one. But I am getting opportunities, so I feel like there are probably multiple opportunities for you to move or for you to do something financial that could kind of increase your stability in the future. And I do feel like that will be really good for you as well. And uh, finally, two of diamonds with the three of spades. So yeah, I feel like some of you are just leaving something behind that no longer serves you financially. And it's like you're making more money because of it. I feel like some of you, this is a great card for settlements, by the way, or selling a home. I would say if any of you are selling a home, actually, it looks really good. So if you're trying to sell a home or you're trying to sell something, uh, or if you're in sales, I would say it looks amazing. But also, uh, this could just represent large amounts of money coming in, large checks. It could also represent more savings. So a lot of you could be saving money or putting money to the side in some way and uh, that could be very beneficial for you as well with these cards I actually want to see what these last two are yeah so I feel like some of you are just kind of operating by faith as well financially. I feel like these cards are saying you're putting your fears aside and I feel like you're taking a more faith-based based approach towards your finances and towards making money. I feel like freeing, letting go of just your feelings about it as well. And I feel like that's just going to attract more money to you as well. So it uh, looks really, really good. Like like I said, definitely like the best reading that I've done so far um, as far as finances are concerned this month. So looks really, really good. So thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your month.